of it, thanks to uh, thanks to this lot and the establishment, they have had every single opportunity taken to come after him. He's been arrested more than ten times, I think now. Houses raided, offices raided. He's been to prison. I mean, they sent this man to prison for confronting a Muslim who said it's okay to keep sex slaves in Britain. It's a sex slave, not a Muslim sex slave, I can assure you, because that's not what the Quran permits. So, this man has been through the mill, thanks to these authorities, and comes straight out of prison in his lovely outfit, <laughs> in his prison gear, and says, let me get my coat on, I'm going straight back out there and I'm going to talk to the people of Telford because they're all grooming our kids. Nothing will ever stop this man. This man's been going since the movement was him and two other people around the table. And you may have seen the videos from when he first was chasing people like Andrew and Chowdhury and Abu Wizardy down the street on his own. <laughs> on his own, didn't care, couldn't care less, running after them down the street, couldn't care less. And now he's built it up to a movement that's got the biggest following on social media out of every single political party put together. We swamp them. Do you know why? Because we just post up what they want to hear. And it all started from this man here. We all fondly refer to him as the boss. It's Mr. Paul Golding, party leader. Yeah! Right. First of all, I want to say thank you to a few people. I want to say thank you and well done to our flag bearers today. They've led the march, they're holding these Templar flags because we are the modern Knights Templar battling against Islam like our ancestors did for 1400 years. Let's have a big round of applause yeah. for the flag bearers. You can also see scattered about, we have our security in their uniforms. I think they've done a superb job today. So let's give them a big round of applause for our security. Hello guys. And for the first time ever, we've held a march, a protest march in a town. And do you know what? The police have been cooperative. They've been fair. They've been reasonable. And I can tell you now, that's the first time that's happened. So big round of applause for the police. The police on this occasion have been fair and reasonable and impartial. So. All the people that I've been dealing with in the police, the liaison team, you know, well done. Thank you very much for treating us fairly. And uh, I've already gone around the regions. We've got Welsh, Scots, English, Northern Irish. We've got loyalists here. We've got people from so Slovakia. Come to the front. Let's see that flag. That is the flag of Slovakia. Thank you for being with us today. We all know Slovakia is run by a real leader. The Slovakian Prime Minister is a real leader. He said, we do not want any migrants in our country because they're Muslim. They won't fit into our country, so we do not want any. Am I right? So God bless Slovakia. We also have a gentleman here from the Czech Republic. Let's see your flag, sir. Oh, he's, he's folded it away. Get that flag up, big man. We've had our gentleman here from Poland. We've got a, some, uh, a volunteer here from uh, an activist here, sorry, a patriot from Denmark. Next time you come, bring the flag with you. <laughs> God bless you. God bless our European brothers and sisters. We're with you all the way. United we stand. God bless. Oh, Mr. Trump, I do apologise. We have got an American flag in the van. But he's brought a Trump flag. God, God bless Donald Trump. God bless Revolution. <laughs> We can all see that our type of politics is on the rise. Patriotism is on the rise. We've seen it in the general election two years ago where UKIP got four million votes. Four million votes. One seat in Parliament, but four million votes. That was a gigantic grand swell of patriotic 
discontent in this country. It just shows there's millions and millions and millions of people in this country who are sick to death with being treated like second class citizens in a country that they've worked for, in a country they've built, in a country their families over the centuries have sacrificed and died for.